Hello. Today <clears throat> I will take you through the steps of developing a uh, grid-based aggregation of biodiversity data with the idea of doing summaries of completeness and summaries of sampling gaps with respect to geographic and environmental factors. So uh, there is a protocol which is provided with these movies. Uh, I'm basically going to assume a bunch of things, which is to say I will assume that you have cleaned your data. Um, I will also assume that you have your point data um, in QGIS in the form of a shape file. Uh, so you can follow along with the uh, protocol, and this is the beginning of it. And essentially where we're going to start is in this step of vector grid. Uh, essentially where we want to choose our aggregation level. So here in QGIS, I have my country outline. We'll be using the country of Ghana as an example. And I go to Research Tools, Vector Grid. I load that particular shape file, update the extents from the layer. I pick my level of aggregation, which I'm going to use half a degree. And I choose this option of Output Grid as Polygons. And finally, I'm going to name this as a shape file. And I'm going to put it in a temporary folder. And as you can see, we very quickly have a half degree grid that is based on the outline and extent of the country of Ghana. We can edit this. We need to have the select tool. We can edit this to get rid of grid squares that have nothing to do with Ghana. And we are basically done with this first step. And we can stop editing, save it, and now we have our aggregation grid. And that's the end of this first film.